So welcome to Unity of Jupiter. I'm so glad you all came. I think we have something special going on today. And uh, I'm kind of overwhelmed, to tell you the truth. And I'm kind of overwhelmed that I'm standing here right now because I didn't think I'd be getting up on the stage this morning. But here I am. And welcome everyone to Unity of Jupiter. We have a super special day planned with Charlie and Diane. And first, we're going to start with Kathy Ross singing uh, My Soul is Welcome Here. Not by myself, though. You're all going to sing with me, right? <laughs> Stand up if you'd like. Waiting for my cue. <laughs> Charlie Thweet. Well, good morning. It's nice to be back. And I, I think m many of you do not know that Joanne is actually related to Alicia Keys. Isn't that correct, Joanne? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Um, so uh, this song, we're doing a couple of angel songs today. This one is called You're an Angel. Who was here last night? We did this together, a few of you. So it'll get you a little more involved than you used to. hope you still like me at the end of this song. So um, there are five lines we're going to do. So the words go like this. You're an angel. You're a being of light. You're going to, there'll be a pop quiz in a minute, so pay attention. You're an angel, and I know that I'm right. You're an angel bringing love to everyone. 
and it's yours to give. And in the giving comes the fun. It's a lot of words, you'll get it. So we'll practice a few times, see how you do on the pop quiz, okay? You're an angel, you're a being of light. You're an angel, and I know that I'm right. You're an angel, bringing love to everyone, and it's yours to give. And in the giving comes the fun. Join it. You're an angel. You're a being of light. You're an angel. And I know that I'm right. You're an angel. Bringing love to everyone. And it's yours to give. And in the giving comes the fun. If you're not moving your lips now, it'd be a really good time to start. You're an angel. You're a being of light. You're an angel. And I know that I'm right. You're an angel. Bringing love to everyone. And it's yours to give. And in the giving comes the fun. One more practice time. You're an angel. You're a being of life. You're an angel. And I know that I'm right. You're an angel. Bringing love to everyone. And it's yours to give. And in the giving comes the fun. Here comes the pop quiz. You're going to stand up in a second, find a partner, take their hands, look in their eyes, and sing this one time through. Ready? Everybody stand up on your feet. Look for the angel in those eyes. Here we go. You're an angel. You're a being of life. You're an angel. And I know that I'm right. You're an angel, bringing love to everyone. And it's yours to give. And in the giving comes the fun. Okay, one this time. Hang on. Now we're going to sing We Are Angels. Same partner. Here we go. We are angels. We are angels. Look at your partner. We are beings of life, we are angels, and I know that I'm right. We are angels, bringing love to everyone, and it's ours to give, and in the giving comes the fun. Give a big hug. Come. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay, this is a hard act to follow. Ah, oh, we used to sit, we closed out all my groups with that song, and and we did motions and and twirls and yeah it was fun so thank you Charlie Joanne thank you for your beautiful opening this morning absolutely wonderful all right so this says opening prayer I, I can do that so close your eyes and take a breath and as you breathe into this moment breathe into all the love that's in this room we are here today to celebrate and how grateful we are to, for this celebration. It took a while and everybody did their due diligence and everybody came out with a winner, the right person to lead this ministry forward. So as we celebrate this day, we celebrate the process that it took to get here. 
and the knowing that John Denny was already chosen by God. So as we go through this celebration today, we remember that it took manifestation, that we all worked on manifesting the divine right minister, just like we're all working on manifesting now the divine right location. Same process. Knowing that God is flowing through us, guiding us, leading us, whispering to us, go here, go there but trusting and knowing that this church is God's church. It always has been. It always will be. And God has always taken care of this ministry in beautiful and enchanting ways. So with grateful hearts, we are here today for this celebration. Let us open our hearts to it. Let all the love that's in this room swell up in your heart so that when you leave here, you'll be 10 times bigger in your we affirm this truth in the name and the nature of the Christ presence within, and it is so. Amen. Amen. Okay, so join me in the statement of faith. God is all there and is present everywhere. This is the force of love and wisdom that underlies all of existence. And today's affirmation is... Together, we can do what I cannot do alone. Remember this, because I'm going to ask you to go back to this a couple times today. So this is a good one. Okay, Daily Word platform person. Good morning, Unity. Good morning. Can you feel the vibration in here and the love and the excitement? I'm so glad that you are here today. And I am honored to be here today. So yes, my name is Sherry Sova. And let us start by affirming the unity of Jupiter core value, spirit led. We are centered, centered in God. God. Spirituality, Spirituality leads our thoughts and actions as we, as we co-create a world that works, that works for all. And today's daily word is wholeness. And let's affirm together. Wholeness is my nature and the truth of my life. I see myself whole, complete, and as a living expression of God. My thoughts fill my consciousness with the divine idea of wholeness. My words affirm this wholeness. Through my actions, I bless the life energy in my body and the right balance of exercise, rest, and nutrition. I live from my wholeness even if I experience illness. I may receive treatment, but I do not consider myself weak or diseased. I move through every health challenge with faith and grace, trusting the experience has come to pass. I remember wherever I am, whatever may be happening, divine life is always seeking to express through me to restore my awareness of wholeness, which is and will always be my true spiritual state of being. And today's word is inspired by Luke 1134. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light, but it is not healthy. Your body is full. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Let us bring light and love to all right, a few announcements here. So we have a lot going on today. It's a celebration day all the way around, but it is the first Sunday of the month, so we are going to celebrate birthdays. So it is birthday Sunday. If you have a birthday in the month of January, please stand up so we can honor you. Carolyn. Michael Peacher, it's all you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. You were wonderful. Happy birthday to you. God is blessing you now. God is blessing you now. God is blessing you.
Michael, the entire cake is for you. Oh, Miss Erica. Whew, pan over. Okay, we, we love you and we appreciate you. Okay, we have a few announcements today. Um, so our building plan for the property was approved by the town of Jupiter. So we do not know when we are going to have to leave the property, but we do ask that everyone keep their eyes and ears open for any uh, for a new home for our Unity of Jupiter. And please see any board member with any ideas, anyone that you know, um, Reverend John or Carol in the office, um, or any of the board members with any ideas you can handle. And that being said, since we have, we know how to manifest things here, right? In unity, we're, we're kind of taught that stuff. So today, right after the service, um, Diane is going to lead us in a mastermind workshop. So please come and join us. So we're, we're gonna not only learn how to do things in your own life, but please hold a vision for this church and where we're going to go next. So that's gonna be a wonderful, I've done it many, many years and it's gonna be a wonderful workshop. Um, okay, we need um, members. It was, you know, we need you. Yes, become a member. <laughs> become a voting member of Unity of Jupiter. We're going to have a member orientation on Friday, January 12th at 7 p.m. So if you are new to Unity and you wanna learn about our movement and be able to vote on church matters and or serve on our board of trustees, you are invited to join our intro to Unity class led by Reverend John Denny. It, it's a one evening class, January 12th at 7 p.m. It'll be right here in the sanctuary. And you're welcome as a new member during, you will be welcomed as a new member during our ceremony then that following Sunday on January 14th. So send us a message if you're interested, fill out a new member application. You can see Carol in the office as well. Uh, and uh, our annual meeting is coming up. That will be on Sunday, February 11th. Uh, we are looking for board members. We have three board member vacancies that will need to be filled. So if you have an interest in participating on the board and being an important part of keeping the church operating smoothly, now is the time to step forward and uh, just speak to any of the current members and let them know that you're interested. And I will tell you, it is an honor to serve and we need, uh, we need folks to stand up. So the current board members are Michael Beecher, uh, Maureen Cullen, Craig Keller, Sandy Simmons, Sandra Simons, and Doug Blackburn. All right. And thank them for all their current service, too, that has gotten us this far. Um, so we have ongoing events at uh, Unity of Jupiter. Monday morning yoga with Patricia Carroll from 10 a.m. to 11.30 Please bring your own yoga mat and your and a yoga strap. Her classes are inclusive for all levels. Individuals with chronic pain, physical issues, and tensions are encouraged to attend. It's a wonderful class. Again, it'll be right here. Uh, Monday evening Course of Miracles is at 7 p.m. here in the sanctuary as well, and that's done with Miss Maureen Cullen. Wonderful, wonderful class. Even if you haven't started from the beginning, come and join the, the Course in Miracles. You will really get something out of that as well. Uh, Wednesday at noon, we have our midday prayer group led by Pam Chostin and, the, and our prayer chaplains. Powerful things happen in prayer. So right here um, at noon on Wednesdays, powerful, powerful group. And then of course, the first Friday of every month, we have the healing circle and I knew I saw her uh, with um, Carolyn Cohen, the first Friday of the month. So the next healing circle will be Friday, February 2nd. We just had one this past Friday. Powerful things happening here, guys. Um, and Sunday mornings, the harmony exercise uh, led by Mr. Ron, uh, John. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend John Denny and, and uh, Ron Boba here too. So again, another powerful meditation. It is wonderful to be part of this. Um, okay, so coming, New World Harmony. We have lots of harmony here in Unity. Uh, a company dedicated to helping you remember who you are and why you are here. Is, we're, they're hosting another beautiful breath and meditation healing event 
Uh, it's called Divine Cosmic Breath and Meditation Journey, the DNA series. That is beginning Saturday, January 13th and Saturday, February 3rd, right here at Unity of Jupiter. Both events will take place from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. That is on a Saturday. So there's flyers on the table out there in the foyer with more information. You can also see Carol in the office. Lots of wonderful things happening here. Um, Dr. Will Tuttle is returning to Unity of Jupiter on Sunday, January 21st. His uplifting presentations and inspiring music have touched the hearts, minds, and lives of thousands. Weaving words and his unique, heart-opening and inspiring original piano mess music, he opens doors to inter-imaginative realms where healing insights emerge and blossom. And then following the Sunday morning service, he's going to do a workshop which is called Opening the Intuitive Gate, the keys to developing your intuition. So the workshop is offered on a love, a love offering basis, and there are flyers out there too. We have lots of information going on. And now to lead us into meditation, let us join and sing the presence. invite you to close your eyes now and take a deep healing breath. And as you breathe in, let the breath take you inside into that sacred and beautiful place within you. God designed us so perfectly that we even have our own respite, a place inside where we can go and be and remember who we are. Breathing into that place now, we enter our secret chamber and close the door behind us, closing out the outer world and coming inside into our rich interior. Oh, just breathe in and know my God and I are one. And as we feel our oneness, we also feel the power of God flowing through us. We come back to this place to remember who we are, to remember that we are so much more than who we appear to be. We are so much more than we even confess to be. Because when we are in this place, we are joined with that power. That power flows through us and God taught us perfectly how to create. Let there be light. And there was light, and it was good. So we speak the word. We let it be. We allow it to be. We get out of our way so that it can be. So what are you affirming this morning? There's so much good going on in this ministry. We have so many things to affirm for unity of Jupiter. And we will affirm all that good, but what about you? What about you? What are you affirming this morning? We're starting a brand new year. All of the energy of the universe is for us right now, for starting something new and for jumping into something. So you don't still want to be in the same place next year wishing for something. We want to put feet to our prayers. So imagine in your mind's eye, what is in my highest and greatest good this year? How can God bless me and at the same time I get to bless the world? 
Because when we're really doing our work, when we're really doing what God would have us do, it not only provides for us, but it also blesses us in incredible ways. It doesn't feel like work if you're really loving it while you're doing it. So imagine in your mind's eye what you would like to bring into this new year. Take another nice deep breath. Breathe all the way into the depths of your being. And in this place of pure potentiality where anything is possible, only you limit what is possible. Now we imagine in our mind's eye for the ministry. We imagine the divine right location. We imagine walking in there on the very first day and feeling that energy of, oh, we found our next divine right home. Imagine that first Sunday when everybody's so excited and so thrilled. God provides in beautiful ways. We just open our eyes, open our minds, open our doors, and let it be. Trusting and knowing that God would not bring us this far to drop us and say, ah, we don't need you anymore. God brought us to this point to enlarge us to go into the next evolution of unity of Jupiter. So we feel the energy. Feelings have the most power to attract. Better than thoughts, better than words, they're all good. But feelings, feelings are what has the power to attract. The quickest way there is through our feeling nature. So feel what it would feel like. If we were in our new location, the energy, the excitement, the wonder of it all, how blessed we are and how much God loves unity of Jupiter. So thank you, God. Thank you, God, for our own personal visions. And thank you, God, for this vision for the church. We know that having now secured and put in place the divine right minister. Our next step is to find the divine right location. And then we're off and running like nobody's business. Thank you, God. Thank you for this ministry. Thank you for all the years of this ministry and everyone who has participated in its growth, in its development. And as we move into the next generation of this church, we know that God is with us, blessing it. And so it is, and so we let it be. Take in another nice deep breath. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. And so it is, and so we let it be. And now to complete this time of prayer and meditation, please join in singing the Lord's Prayer.
I'm going to sing a song that John requested for this day. This is called Heavenly Angels. And for me, I think that it's a reminder that we have each other helping each other, and we have things we don't see helping us. So, Heavenly Angels. Heavenly angels fly around you all day long. You may not necessarily ooh, hear their song, but they're here. Singing love's sweet smile And heavenly angels Fly around you and me All day long And choirs of angels Sing to you And they sing strong They sing the same song That's in you and me And I I like to sing along And how sweet That love does flow Kind of makes you start to glow And choirs of angels Sing to you and me And they sing strong Will you ooh with me? Choir of angels again. And they're here all the while, singing love sweet smile. And heavenly angels fly around you and me all day long. Or choir. Bless you, John. Bless you. Look, I got props today. <laughs> I want to talk to you today about the power of manifestation because we're doing it. We're already doing it. And so yesterday, or Friday afternoon, I came in and to, to check in with Carol and see what I needed to do. And I was getting ready to leave, and I saw this flyer on the table out front. For Will Tuttle. And I'm like, oh, Will Tuttle. Oh, I love him. Oh, he was at our church. And then I looked up and I said, and his wife, Madeline, painted this painting for us. Now, this happened when we were still housed at Donald Ross Road and we had to move. Does this happen anything to you? Are you <laughs> catching a drift here? <laughs> I mean, we, we, you know, we were at Donald Ross Road and we had to move because they were putting a road in. You know, the, the Hood Road extension. And when I came there, they said, oh, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Four years later, it was happening, and we went down to 16 parking spots, and we had to move. And so Madeline 
created this painting for us when she was here. And it's the manifestation of our new ministry. And so I think it's only absolutely amazing that there it is out there. And y'all didn't even know what this picture was. <laughs> so I'm happy I got back here to tell you the truth about this. <laughs> There's some other things here I, I probably should let you know about too. But anyway, this picture is to manifest our perfect ministry, our divine right ministry. So we're already here. I mean, we're already working on it. So uh, they're coming back. They're coming back. Manifesting our heart's desires. We, we, we think, we treat it like it's this difficult task. We, we, we approach this manifestation thing like it's something we have to do. Anywhere in Genesis did it say, I have to have light? <laughs> did God ever get out there and said, oh God, we, we got to have light. We need light. No, God said, let there be light. Let there be light. And there was, and it was good. And let there be this, and let there be that, and let there be oceans and fishes in the sea, and let there be. Now, there's no stress and strain in the let there be. So if you're trying to manifest something and you're putting a lot of stress and strain on it, that's why it's not working. It needs to flow into life. Now, when we were looking for a place to live in this church, um, I, I came to this church in 2003 to help them find a minister. I left <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> they found one. But in the meantime, we had to move. We were at Donald Ross Road. We had to move from that church, and everybody loved it. So any of you that were still at, Don who, who was still at Donald Ross Road? Anybody in this room? Yeah, look at all the hands. Okay, so didn't we love that church? And it had steeple and wood, and it was magnificent, and it had porches, and you could go sit out and and on the porch after church and eat and it was wonderful and we all loved it and when we left there and we had to leave i mean you might got 90 days now and you've had a couple years notice of 90 days <laughs> we had 16 days you got to move <laughs> you're out and so we we went into a school we, we went into the abaco High, uh, middle school and we we had a place for eight months now was it perfect no and thank God we had John Marshall then because he pulled his trailer up every Sunday and unloaded because it was unload every Sunday. And it was during the summer. I, I always was absolutely ringing wet when I got up to speak just from loading and unloading. But we lived there for eight months. We didn't lose anybody. You know, it, it worked out okay. And then we found the Park Place thought, the street that we thought was going to be wonderful. Um, God took care of us there too. Because we were going to buy that property, and God didn't let us. <laughs> God saved us from this building that was really in need of a lot of repair. So then the realtor that found all this other stuff for us called me one day, and she said, you know when you guys looked at that place on Bush Road, that, that little church on Bush Road? She said, you know, somebody, it's been on, the, uh, they were out for a year trying to get it approved to have a daycare in here. And the town never approved it. And she said, so they put it back on the market. It was originally listed at 1.1 million. It came back on the market at $625,000. I called the board. We, they were here at five o'clock the same day. We looked at it and said, yes, yes, we're gonna buy this. Here, put in our offer, we're, we're here. And they went, oh, somebody already bought it for cash. So I was like, well, how could that happen? It was our perfect place. How could that happen? And then my, my realtor friend, Chris, called me back. She said, hey, you know, they don't really want to do church there. They just want a parking lot for their employees. Um, they want to rent the building. You want to rent the building? Yes. <laughs> so we're back in business. So board's back in here, and here we go. God always takes care of us. Sometimes it's not ideal, but then we move into something ideal. We thought we would never get over Donald Ross Road, and here we have this beautiful property. And you don't even get me started on the labyrinth. <laughs> we have enhanced it. We've made it beautiful. And we have manifested it every step of the way. And we did it because we all believed. And so that's where you need to be today. Everybody needs to believe that there is a divine right location that is just waiting for us. God has already selected it. 
it's already there. It's already right, right where you need it to be. And when I was looking at dates and when you have to get out by the end of March, guess what's, the, what's, guess what's on the end of March? Easter Sunday. <laughs> Easter Sunday, March 31st. So we're going to rise up. We're going to rise up on Easter with the best rising up message ever by moving into the new place that everybody wants. So it's there. We know it's already there. We just have to find it. So all of you are mastermind partners this morning. Right now, every one of you are mastermind partners this morning, and we are all aligning ourselves to that good. It's there. We know it's there. We know we just have to get it. So don't let anything go by you. If you hear something, tell somebody. Who, who are the board members? They, they named them all, but stand up, board members. Okay. So when you find the divine right place, you go get one of them. And say, hey, guess what I found? It's there. It's there. So we're, we're going to install John today. And I have this official wording, even official wording. So, John, would you please come up here? Where you were once engaged to this church, you're about to be married. John, please affirm your willingness to take on the mantle of minister of Unity of Jupiter by responding, I will, to the following statements. Will you lovingly dedicate and consecrate yourself to the will and the work of the Christ Spirit through, one, embracing your position of minister of Unity of Jupiter as its sacred spiritual leader? I will. Will you commit yourself to work with your board of trustees, staff, and congregation to co-create a harmonious leadership team? I will. Will you support the board of trustees and the Unity community members with your prayers, encouragement, fellowship, and honest, loving response to their, to their words and actions? I will. And will you honor each and every member of this spiritual community by seeing the truth of the Christ light within them? John, I knew from the day I met you that God had good plans for you, <laughs> that God had something better for you, something that you were going to be used in a way that was going to be precious. And I cannot tell you how happy I am that this is the place where God chose to channel that energy through you. I love this church, and I love that you're taking this position with all my heart. This is the, one of the most wonderful things I've ever done. So, John, because of your spirit-centered willingness to serve, I now official, officially install you as the senior minister of Unity of Jupiter. <laughs> Take that all in, my friend. Y'all, I, I am literally speechless. <laughs> it's kind of like being in the twilight zone. You're like waiting for the end of it to wake up and be like, okay, you know, pinch me if it's not real. But, you know, well, I'm glad you believed in me, Diane. You know, you might have been the only one there at the beginning, but here we are now. <laughs> so <laughs> at least we had some, we had one believer. And uh, it's just amazing to see everyone here. Uh, you know, we knew we were going to have a full house today. And, you know, to see it now in real life, it's amazing. And I thank each and every one of you for coming today. And especially Diane and Charlie and everyone else who makes this possible. But thank you so much. Awesome. And now we know that John cannot do this job alone. <laughs> that this is a very big job, and John cannot do this job alone. So I would like the following people to stand. 
If you're a board member, please stand. Okay. If you are part of the staff of this church, please stand. If you are a prayer chaplain, please stand. If you do platform or sing or perform, please stand. If you teach a class here, please stand. That's you, Carolyn. <laughs> All right, do I get everybody? I think I have. So this, this, this one, this group of people, I'm going to ask you the same things, and I'm going to ask you for your level of participation. So will you lovingly dedicate and consecrate yourself to the work and the will and the work of the Christ through, one, supporting Reverend John as the membership's choice for the minister and spiritual leader of Unity of Jupiter? Say, I will. Will you support Reverend John and our Unity community members with your prayers, encouragement, fellowship, and honest, loving response to our words and actions? Will you commit yourself to work with your minister in building an empowered and harmonious leadership team as you honor each and every member of this spiritual community? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you think all the rest of you are getting off easy, now it's your turn. If you haven't already stood up, please do so now. Stand up. The commitment does not stop with the Reverend John and the Board of Trustees, staff, and appointed leaders. To make this circle complete, I am now asking you, the congregation, to make a similar vow to those already made today. Please affirm your commitment to this ministry by responding I will to the following questions. Will you lovingly dedicate and consecrate yourself to the will and the work of the Christ Spirit through supporting Reverend John as the discerned choice for the minister and spiritual leader of Unity of Jupiter? I will. Will supporting your minister, your board of trustees, and all community members with your prayers, encouragement, fellowship, and honest, loving response to their words and actions? And will you commit yourself to work with your minister, board of trustees, staff, and the members of this unity community in co-creating a harmonious environment that honors each and every member of the spiritual community? I know. All right, you may be seated. So we have all made pledges here today. This church can be anything you choose it to be. You all make that decision. John will prepare a message whether you all come or not. He's going to do the work. He's going to prepare a message, and he's going to stand up here and deliver it. It's if there's two people in this room or if there's 200 people in this room. So John needs your support. He likes your, your fanny in the seats on Sundays <laughs> so that we can grow this in beautiful ways. And Barry, I, I, I didn't mean to, to not honor you as well. But Barry, coming into this as, as a minister's wife is probably not a goal that you ever uh, thought that you, you would ascertain to. But we love you and bless you and honor you as the wife of our beloved minister. There's going to be wonderful things that are about to happen. You're going to move into your next place. I cannot wait to see where it's going to be. Because, you know, God has always taken care of this church. And even if it's in a temporary place for a little while, hold on to the vision of what you want. Manifestation is not hard. You make it too hard. Flow with it. Flow with it. What stands in the way of manifesting? Doubt, doubt fear, unforgiveness. Doubt, fear, unforgiveness. So release those things. If you see them pop up in your head, go, oh, wait, no, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm going to be in this place of manifesting the good for this ministry. And before they kick me off this platform, I want to acknowledge Michael Beecher. I was a board, I was a board president once without a minister. 
it prepared me for this, so just in case you have any thoughts of that, you know, <laughs> it prepared me for this. But Michael, you did an exemplary job of, of leading this church, of being the president of the board, and leading this church through some very difficult times. So I really support you, and I honor all that you have done for this ministry. This is the start of something new. This is the start of something big. This is ready to take this ministry and run. You have a, a leader that is full of energy, is full of commitment, knows that there's enough and to spare for our every need, and will align himself into being the mighty magnet to draw to this church its good. And every one of you are mighty magnets. So come back. Come back and celebrate. Bring this, this community back together again because community strengthens us. Community gives us a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Community gives us hugs on Sunday where we might not be getting hugs anywhere else. So come in. Wherever, this, wherever it's going to be, the church is us. It's not this building. Like I said, I, I, could, I could, don't even get started on the labyrinth because I'm going <laughs> to miss that labyrinth out there. But it's still going to be this church. It's still going to be this church. So put your magnificent, loving hearts together. And every day when you wake up, say a prayer. Every day before you wake up, or right when you wake up, just say a prayer. God, align unity of Jupiter to their, their divine right location. It doesn't have to be a hard prayer. It's easy. And then do it again before you go to sleep. And then work on the feelings, how it's going to feel that first day. Because feelings will help you manifest. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. You're, you're not sorry. You're Kathy. <laughs> All right. So now I want you to affirm with me once again. Together we can do what I cannot do alone. Stand up. Together we can do what I cannot do alone. One more time, and really with feeling and gusto now. Together we can do what I cannot do alone. And so we can. Okay, thank you. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Together we can, and we are. So now, as we move into our celebration of abundance, it is our opportunity to give back from our financial abundance. So let us begin by reading the Unity of Jupiter Prosperity Blessing together. In a universe overflowing with the abundance of good, we acknowledge God as the source of all of our blessings. We affirm our receptivity and acceptance of this good from every direction, known and unknown, expected and unexpected. Our abundant good comes to us now. Thank you, God, and so it is. There are many ways for you to give. You can drop off your gift in the baskets that will be coming around. You can also, also text your donation to 561-581-1119, or you can give a debit or credit card in the office after today's service, just see Carol. Most of these options can be set up for automatic recurring giving as well. And now to keep our time of giving sacred, I would like you to now take your gift in your hand and bless it. You are planting the seeds to your own prosperity and giving them back to God from the abundance that has already been provided to you. Breathe life into your gift and thank God that you have this gift to give. And now affirm with me the offertory blessing. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Now, Charlie, proceed. Thank you. 
My pleasure. Thank you. Love has always been here for you. Feel those arms that wrap around you. Everyone who's ever known you brings a gift that blesses you. in your heart, deep in your soul, now you can start, now you can know, sing deep in my heart, deep in my heart, deep in my soul, deep in my soul, now I can start. Now I can start, now I can know, now I can know. Like the wind that moves the windmill, you may never see what lifts you still into the heavens, but you will. Begin to share what's gifted you Deep in my heart Deep in my heart Deep in my soul Now I can start Now I can start Now I can know Deep in my heart been here for me. Love has always been here for me. Sing it out. Love has always been here for me. Love has always been here for me. Love has Thank you. All right, if you'll bring the gifts forward. And who are our prayer chaplains today? Our prayer chaplains have been specially trained to pray. If you're in need of prayer for any reason, come forward and let one of our chaplains pray with you. There is tremendous power in prayer, so avail yourselves of their beautiful service. And uh, we will be doing a labyrinth walk and a drumming circle at 4.30 this afternoon out on the labyrinth. This might be one of the, the last big events we do on the labyrinth. So uh, if you'd like to walk the labyrinth with me one more time, 4.30 is the time. So come on out and let's walk it. And if I cry, you just bring Kleenex. <laughs> All right. Mother, Father, God, we are so blessed by this day this long-awaited day, so thank you. Thank you for the due diligent process that has put John Denny in this place of senior minister. Let him excel in every way in this position and let this church come back together with love and joy and fellowship. Let this day bring all of us that love and joy and let us carry it with us throughout the week as we go out into the world, let's share this joy. Be the smile on somebody else's face. Because when you smile, people can't help but smiling back. Thank you, God, for the abundance that you have demonstrated through this church today. That we can find the divine right minister. We can find the divine right location. Everything. There's enough and to spare for our every need. So thank you for the gifts that have been shared today. Let them go forth to bless this ministry in all ways. Thank you for the snacks that we're about to eat. Let us nourish our bodies. And thank you for the, the rest of the events this weekend. Let this whole time of celebration nourish our souls. And let this reconnecting with one another remember that community serves us. 
community saves us. And so it is. And so we let it be. Amen. Amen. Please rise, join hands. We'll sing the peace song followed by the prayer for protection. <laughs>